Nigeria may be counting down to being Ebola free as no new confirmed case of the disease has been recorded so far. However, measures to keep the virus at bay are still being put in place. One of these efforts is coming from the Edo State branch of the Nigerian Medical Association as it donates Ebola preventive kits to the Central Hospital in Benin City. The chairman of the state chapter of the NMA, Professor Afehide Omoti, who presented the kits to the state commissioner for health, said the move was informed by the need to guard against the possible spread of Ebola in the state. The state commissioner for health, Dr. Ahianoa Eregie, who reassured that there is no Ebola in a dose state, welcomed the NMA's gesture, describing it as complementing state's efforts. We do not have Ebola, Ebola virus disease in Edo State. There's no reported case. Several of the rumors you may have heard, all those tests have been done and the, the results have come back negative. All we're just doing is taking precautions. And as I said, they're actually involved in a lot of educational activities. And I've personally seen them in various fora, uh, educating people. Uh, so at the moment, we're just uh, contributing our quota. Meanwhile, the Nigerian Immigration Service seems set to use one stone to kill two birds by increasing its surveillance on illegal migrants in Nigeria in order to tackle insecurity issues. The NIS says it will also cover border control, especially with countries worst hit by the Ebola outbreak. The Comptroller General of the service, David Pardon, led a delegation to meet the Nasarawa state's governor, Tanko Al-Makura, on the immigration surveillance and tracking campaign in the state. I would want to assure you that Nasarawa state will collaborate and associate with your men to supply information where it becomes necessary. The ECOWAS protocol allows for free movement of persons. At the same time, the ECOWAS protocol says that the issue of public health and national security is of utmost importance to every country. So we are faced with a challenge of public health now. Immigration service, port health authorities, and all security agencies, if you go to any of our land border posts now, you will see the rigorous processes that people must undergo to be, make sure that Nigeria is safe. The duty of every government is the security and welfare of its citizens and we will not afford to have Ebola ravage Nigeria. So we're working together with all other agencies to see that we contain this. And of course, there's tremendous progress has been noticed already. In the meantime, federal lawmakers appear set to look into the public health threat posed by the EVD to the country. The chairman of the Senate's Committee on Rules and Business, Senator Ita Enang, while speaking with Senate correspondents on some of the issues that the Senate will focus on as it resumes, said the upper chamber would also evaluate how the EVD is being tackled in Nigeria. As we resume, we will consider the health challenge that, face, that is facing the country, that faced the country, the way it was handled, the uh, way forward particularly the Ebola question. Uh, it cannot go unnoticed. It will be addressed by the Senate. Going by the update from the Federal Ministry of Health, no patient is under treatment in Lagos or Port Harcourt Ebola isolation centers. But remember that Liberia, Sierra Leone and Guinea, Nigeria's West African neighboring countries are still battling the disease. So keep observing the preventive measures and report any suspected case to the health authorities. You're me or Taibo reporting for Channels Television News.